So we're at the last Barnes and Noble in Queens. Oh, the last one. And thank God, because where else are we going to go and take a look at what our competition is like? Yeah, so this week we're going to do a little field trip where we check out our presumptions on uh, what young adult is now. Because what's the point of going off and, and claiming all sorts of mad things about the nature of young adult paranormal romance novels without actually investigating further? Yes, without actually physically going and seeing what it's all about. So, let's go laugh at the successful people. I remember the first day I saw this, and uh, now it's just like, yeah, teen paranormal romance. <laughs> Here, of course, is Twilight with Aliens. Wolf Spring Chronicles Unleashed. Werewolves. There's a tiger one? The last thing Casely Hayes thought she'd be doing this summer was trying to break a 300-year-old Indian curse with a mysterious white tiger named Ren. I'm just gonna assume that's a sexy ass tiger. So she was battling immortal sea monkeys and trekking the jungles of India. She fell in love with Ren, the 300 year old prince, who's a tiger. Oh, so, wear tiger. Wear tiger. But of course, it uses the tiger by William Blake. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. So, five mythical Chinese dragons in the open sea beckon 19 year old Kelsey, who must embark on a third voyage. This time to find the goddess Durga's black pearl necklace and free oh beloved God. Ren from. So, this is a white chick doing a bunch of shit in India with Hindu stuff. Sounds like. Okay. Okay, so here we have some books by Amanda Hawking, who was the lady that got super famous by uh, self-publishing and making millions and millions of dollars. Of course, beastly. <laughs> Tee A beast, not quite wolf or gorilla or dog, but a horrible new creature with fangs, claws, and hair springing from every pore. Yes, the spell, the one the witch in my English class cast on me. See, Taylor Swift has gotten a young adult novel. I see our buddy's getting in the young adult game. Hmm, this is new. In the new team. <laughs> new team. This is new, brand new. So I'm really, I'm really digging these uh, incredibly vague titles. Rise. An Eve novel. Entice. Vague, non-committal name. Vague, non-committal name. Another, and another, and another. But they are, um, adjectives. They are adjectives. Death, doom, and detention, possession. The name didn't tell me anything, but her makeup is incredible. Fragile darkness, or should I say beautiful insanity. And faded. Thirst. So basically, if, if you want to title your novel, just find a verb and put it in its past participle. Rift. Rise. I like the rise. rise. And crave. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I look at these titles and I think about who I was when I was in middle school and high school, and none of these titles would ever have caught my attention. Yeah. Possession. Captivate. Entice. Endure. Firelight. Vanish. Hidden. See, I just kind of feel like this one's taken. Now we're in, in just normal romance, um, because all this stems from here, really. And for an example, we have, for the first time in print, the complete novel, because you are mine. <laughs> Is that another rich guy thing? It's another rich guy thing. Sexy, confident, commanding, anything he wanted he got, and what he wanted was me. Damien Stark. Just want like, let's focus on that. Damien, Damien Stark. Stark. I, um, I see what you're doing. Anything he wants. Dominated by the billionaire. <laughs> I see what you did there. I just want you to know. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this this has to be like for this has to be for gay guys. This cannot be for women. There's no way that that is a straight man with that gun holster and no shirt. Here we have the uh, book Cinder or the Lunar Chronicles, because these books are always sagas or chronicles or epics or something of that nature. And here we have humans and androids crowd the raucous streets of New Beijing. It's a Cinderella story with androids. <laughs> Ghosts. She shares her mirror every morning with a phantom teenage boy. Oh, so. Twilight with ghosts. But the ghosts are gaining power. Book one of the partial sequins. And the human race is all but extinct after a war of partials. Engineered organic beings identical to humans. So the partials are humans? 
test tube babies aren't humans. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm learning right now is that there's not a huge world of difference between the adult section and the young adult section in terms of romance. Except for the young adult has more like paranormal stuff. And the adult has more like billionaires and shit. Yeah.